fighting modes are in my wrist. Harley is a culture. It's it's a it's a vibe. It's a it's a following. It's a. I'm in Florida, Jupiter, Florida, visiting my parents. I'm a good boy, right? So uh, this is how I got here. I flew from Israel to uh, Miami. Take a look. That is one five zero, ILS nine. ILS nine. Okay, yeah, so it's heading right one five zero with a direct flight. What's uh, what's over there? Direct flag at or above four thousand and two ILS nine approach. Direct flag at or above four thousand clear to the ILS nine. Contact one two zero point three five. I was having breakfast and today something different and special. I while I was here, I used a, an app called Share Riders Share. And I'm not to here to promote that, but what you can rent pretty much motorcycles like there's Airbnb for houses for motorcycle rental from other riders. You can they share their ride. There's this little app that you go in, you log in, whatever. Anyway. Today I got a Honda Goldwing. So uh, it's not gonna be a review, it's just gonna be my fun day experience, switching, riding for the first time on a Honda Goldwing, okay? I've never been on a Honda Goldwing. Totally different experience. I picked it up yesterday, but I'm, I'm gonna show you today. I took it from where it was, back here. It's been in the garage at night. Take it out and, and tour a little bit Florida. Florida, the area where we were at and have some great time on this uh, flat six. So take a look. Uh, we let it in. In my dad's garage over here. One thing for sure, it feels like a very light bike to handle. Let's put it that way. I guess it's because of the center of gravity. See those two bumps on the side? That's where the weight is. And it feels very, it feels light. Look. Palm Beach, Harley Davidson. I've never seen so many bikes stacked up at one place. As far as the eye can see, unbelievable. Uh, I need a helmet, so, you know, where do I go when I want something? I just go to Harley, so. Just got a half helmet, you know, although the state doesn't require, it's not required, but I wanna wear a helmet. Yeah, conservative, what can I tell you? I won't have my usual gear here. So I try to rig something over here with all I need now is for you to hear this uh, Ramus, this Ramus exhaust. It's pretty wicked. Tell 
show you something about all these runs that I've been doing. Riding, pulling it in sports mode. It's got like five different modes, touring, rain, uh, econ, and sports mode. So I'm running in sports mode. It keeps the revs high up and it pulls like a fucker. And uh, like I don't usually ride like this and tell you what, in this sport mode, I'm literally, I feel, I feel the front wheel lifting, not, not going high up, but I feel it coming off the ground. It's unbelievable, the power. And mind you, this is like a 100, 150 plus pound bike. Unbelievable. I'm gonna head it back into touring mode and uh, head down the shore. A1A, that's where we're going up north towards Cape Canaveral. When I was telling my friends that I'm gonna go uh, to Florida and rent a Goldwing, they were like, oh, it's a Cadillac, it's a spaceship, it's an elephant, it's a mammoth. So I'd say, you know what? When down in Florida, what's more appropriate to compare it to a manatee? So let me test it out and see if it's a manatee or if it's a cheetah. Look how cool this manatee is. It's got its own up and down visor windshield control so you don't get buffeting. Listen. along the coast and this is a really really fun bike it's different it's different from uh it's different than the harleys that we know the v-twin where the power delivery is very abrupt buck, 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 buck. you know you get you get that boost in your back here it's very smooth six six cylinders working it there's always whenever you hit it it's a linear it's a smooth power delivery bike is extremely say flickable it's extremely agile very very agile it's heavy but once you're above five five miles per hour you don't feel the weight because it sits very very low everything here is like very refined very smooth let's put it that way even like i don't remember if on my bike the uh, low rider st if it's the same but here uh, even if you're in your first gear and you're letting go of the clutch just letting go of the clutch immediately the rpms start rising it like compensates it knows you're gonna it knows you're gonna hit uh release the clutch and it by if, even without touching the throttle it raises the engine the rpms by like 300 or rpms so it's like everything is really refined and, and, and fine-tuned for a smooth and comfortable ride This bike was, when they designed it years ago, they pretty much, on their uh, drawing board, they, first thing they started with was a cyclist, a motorcyclist sitting in a riding position. They figured out which is the most neutral, the most comfortable position, put that on the board, and now designed a motorcycle around that. Because I'm telling you, this it's such a neutral, such a comfortable riding position. I'm not even thinking of, do I need a taller handlebar? Do I need highway pegs? Although the bike has, has highway pegs over here, I don't feel the need to stretch my legs out. It's so comfortable. Uh, they designed this bike with the long haul touring uh, in mind. Obviously, cruise control is on. All the, you know, all the simple stuff is there. And from infotainment system, I didn't check it out, so I don't know. Very cool, comfortable bike. What could 
always say it's a different riding experience with that whereas with the harley you know with the harley it's all the open engine the v-twin uh, the beauty of the engine the thumping the smells everything on here it's more refined look you can't really see even see the engine it's all plastic covers it's a total different experience that one is good and this one is good here in uh, Riviera Beach Manatee Center. Park the bike and I wanted to show you guys what the manatees are all about. I've never been here once we, uh, I, just before I get into the manatees, let's talk about uh, rider modes. You know, Florida over here, the way they pave their roads, a lot of the roads are paved with sand and shells, uh, broken up shells. And it, when once it's wet, it's extremely, extremely slippery. So I was, I was, going up off a ramp onto the highway onto I-95. I was in touring mode and I I just get out of get out of uh, the ramp all excited and I just hit it and all of a sudden my back wheel loses grip and it starts to like slide. Immediately I get off the gas and thankfully that there is traction control because yeah, I know all of you are all of my viewers or my subscribers are, are above average riders and they, they don't need traction control. You guys don't need traction control, but me, I'm below average, you know? So I don't know if it was the traction control that let off the gas or it was me getting off the gas that saved it, but that's when you do appreciate traction control. And yeah, I know that, oh, I don't need traction control. I don't need riding modes. My riding modes are in my wrist. But uh, some of us are not great riders and below average, and we can appreciate riding modes and traction controls. Traction control. So, so that's where the hot the hot water from the plant comes out, right there, and spills into the ocean. And the manatees uh, come over here when it's like they said. I just asked inside November or March or April. When it's cold, the water's cold, so they come over. They had, they've seen one today before. It's still not season yet. They've seen one before, and it swam away. Let's hope uh, I'll be lucky to get one. That's what they look like, huge, huge, huge animals. Twelve hundred pounds average of 1200 pounds so 50 percent more than the gold wing well i was unlucky i was unlucky oh there okay. anyway i was unlucky finding uh seeing one uh, personally but i did uh get help from uh, one of the guards over here she got she got uh, some pictures from this morning so she shared it with me thank you so much she shared with me you know, some live pictures i'll put them over here really cool they're that they're that big huge so i think a good it's a good comparison to the goldwing under one of the bridges over here just to rest and to see the, the see the ocean I'm, i love the ocean i grew up i grew up in this little town in israel called a lot on the red sea itself so i grew up on the on the water pretty much so whenever i see the ocean i see the waves i see i get i just can't ignore it i have to go and see so breathe in some fresh ocean breeze although there's not a lot of wind right now but
We're now beginning of November, and in New Jersey, everybody's like 32, 35 degrees. That's why I miss pretty much, very difficult for me, the New Jersey, the Northeast winters are very difficult for me growing up in a very warm and hot environment. Let me grab a drink that I put in my cooler. Take a look at this Harley. Click. Bang. And there you go. Diet Coke. I love it when I finish eating like a 16 ounce steak with fries and everything. And I take a Diet Coke thing that, that oh, that's why I'm gonna keep slim. Anyway, look at these trunks. It's not as big as my, uh, my bags, I think. I'm not sure how many liters, but pretty cool. They're embedded. I don't know if they detach or not. I'm not sure. I think they do. A little click right here and right here on the bottom right there. Click and it opens. This bike pretty much comes stock, ready, ready uh, for touring. There's no need to change anything on the bike. It's just ready to go. So what I think about the Goldwing, the 2020 Goldwing, is I can say it's a very refined touring bike. It's fun to ride. It's a different experience than uh, the Baggers and the Harley, my low rider ST. A totally different experience. If I, if I would say after riding my electric glide for two years, my low rider ST and this Goldwing, I think this is the more comfortable position and I can see myself doing uh, way more miles comfortably on this bike. I'm not saying the baggers, sorry, excuse me, the Harley Touring bikes are not comfortable, but I can see definitely this riding position, uh, the smoothness of the suspension, the smoothness of uh, the, the engine, the very small amount of vibration, uh, the wind protection. I didn't even check out the heated grips and heated seat that comes stock on this bike the only thing that is not as good that is like i think a bit smaller excuse me on this bike is the quantity amount of bags you can take like the the closed bags i mean the saddle bags and the uh the tour pack i think they're slightly small i'm not sure otherwise it's a way more comfortable bike for long touring Hands down, not all of a sudden a, a Honda Goldwing fanboy, no. I love this bike, it's it's pretty cool. I might one day see my future uh, owning one alongside a Harley. I'm never gonna not have a Harley because Harley is a different sensation, is a different, it's Harley is a culture, it's, it's, a, it's a vibe, it's a, it's a following, it's a, it's an essence, it's a being. I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it, but this is a great bike. Uh, easily do an iron butt on it. No, 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 no problem whatsoever. Not that I'm gonna do it. It's not my thing, but easily. And it's a very comfortable bike. It's really, you know, very reliable. Apparently, Japanese. You, you feel the Japanese engineering in it. I can speak highly of this bike for for my one day experience on it. It's not much. I I really enjoy. I'm really enjoying this bike. Yeah. Let me not now let me show you something really cool that we Harley guys don't have. I don't think it's really important, but it's pretty cool. Take a look. Gimmick? I don't know. It's pretty cool, to tell you the truth. Let me start it up and you can hear a cold, not, not a cold start, but warm start, but hear the pipe. So whether the Goldwing is a manatee or a cheetah, I say neither. It's actually a sailfish. It's the fastest marine species. This bike is really, really fast, really quick. We're really nimble. It's huge, but it's nimble. We're waiting in traffic there. That's it guys, just dropped off the bike. Uh, I tell you, it's, it's, 
it was fun. It was lots of fun. That bike is really cool. And to those of you that only rode uh, like one manufacturer, one brand, open up your minds. Do a lot of test rides with other, you know, when you go to rallies or dealers that offer test rides. I'm sure there are a lot of bikes out there that are just waiting for you that you'll love. You'll simply love. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, vacation that I had in Florida. I'm going to be heading off. Um, back to uh, Israel tomorrow. Take a look at my flight back to Israel, and then I'll head back uh, back home to New Jersey. That's it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one. I'm Sandy, watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, peace out. Just got to the airplane. This is what the airplane looks like before all the passengers get here. Our business class is actually pretty cool. Very, very cool reclining chairs, 175 degrees. Each one's got his little cabin, you know, little cubby or little compartment, let's put it that way. Very cool. And that's the, uh, our like upgraded coach, let's put it that way. Well, actually, and that's the coach. That's the Bahamas. And we're gonna be flying over the Bahamas. Just landed. That was our machine for today. Got back from Florida, guys. Back to the video. Hope you enjoy this.